since I was tiny I have been into art. I've loved drawing. My mum is very proud of the fact that I drew my first recognisable picture at the age of 18 months. I drew a cat. She realised that I was going to be an arty person and as I grew up she was right. I've always loved illustration but I never really felt like I was very good at it and when I started making things 3D things started to fit into place a bit better. It felt like I could see what I was creating a lot easier. I was always encouraged to be out in the garden. I'd be out in woods or up hills, sort of digging around, wandering about, seeing what was there. And my mum would get us to collect all the things we found interesting and put them in our nature boxes. I think that's probably where my passion for collecting, my obsession for having natural things in an order somewhere comes from. That's where my love for nature really started. I like that you can see the materials that they're made from. I don't want to pretend that they're real bugs or plants, but I like them to look as close to the real things as possible. I'm quite fascinated by the interplay between it looking like a real thing and then you're getting closer to it and you're actually realising that's not what you're looking at. So I do have to be quite considered when choosing the materials that I'm using. When I make things, I'll make individual petals and I will attach them the way a flower has its petals attached. So I tend not to make generic flower pattern. I like making things individual like that and I like it to be as close to the original as possible. And the same with the bugs. You can almost do whatever you want with paper. It can be as thick as you want it to be, it can be as thin as you want it to be. You can bend it into all sorts of different shapes. You can make it wet and then it becomes like fabric. And I like the amount of possibilities you have with paper because I studied bookbinding and I've built a good relationship with paper and I know what it will do and how to treat it to make it do the things that I want it to do in my sculptures. I think the more I get to know it, the more I love it and the more I end up using it. When I'm interested in something like the plants and the beetles, I just need to know everything about them. And I think what I do with my work is I sort of document my knowledge. So whenever I discover a new species of something and I really like it, I'll go and make it. And then that's it. I've I know everything about that species and it's sort of like, I don't know, it must lodge it in my brain somehow. Nature changes, it evolves. I think with my work it's nice to be able to capture what grows now, what's here now. Well, I think it's good to be curious. You learn a lot when you're a curious person. I've always been the kind of person that likes to sit and watch and work things out. Curiosity for me just brings back being a child, being curious about absolutely everything. And I think that is possibly what other people experience as well. I think we all have like an inner child that is just permanently curious. And I think as you get older, you can sometimes lose that curiosity in the world. The more curious you are, the worse it gets, the more curious you become. I think curiosity is a bit infectious and it just spreads around everyone. I enjoy being in nature, I enjoy being outside and I like to have that in my house. Creating these little scenes that when I go out into nature I can find, they make me happy and I feel at peace. So to be able to bring that inside my house and have a tiny moment of, oh, that's nice. That's what I was trying to bring in to my home and that's why I started making them. 